particular lecture we will look into a different microstructure called spheroidite in spheroidite we have an alpha matrix so this is the alpha matrix and alpha ferrite i mean by saying alpha matrix this is very ductile this is very soft and the cementate particles are dispersed in this particular microstructures in the in the form of small spheres in the previous videos i have explained how spheroidite is formed what is the reason for this cementate particles to take the shape of a sphere actually the driving force for this particular reaction to happen is the reduction in the phase boundary area so in the previous lecture i talked about when or i talked about the importance of phase boundary area the more the phase boundary area per unit volume the better your strength hardness and all those things are so in this case since we have very not very less but less boundary area per unit volume here that reinforcement reinforcement by cementate reinforcement by cementate in the alpha matrix won't be that significant compared to a fine perlite or a coarse perlite so that means compared to fine perlite and coarse perlite the strength and the hardness will be less similarly here also the resistance to plastic deformation is less because phase boundary area is less so we don't have that much of a resistance against plastic deformation in the case of spheroidite microstructure in other words this will be more ductile compared to coarse and fine perlite now all these things i will put it into one particular figure and tell you um all these comparison in the properties so let's look into the graph now so here we have two curves one is demonstrating the dependence of hardness this particular curve we will start with the one on the left side so this figure demonstrate the influence of percentage of carbon on hardness for various of these microstructures so as you can see here for a given weight percentage of carbon fine perlite is more stronger more interface sorry more phase boundary area then comes coarse perlite less phase boundary area then spheroidite comes the least because it has the least phase boundary area because it uh, in this particular microstructure cementite is in the form of spheres so you it's good if you remember why raindrops take the shape of spherical particles when they are falling down if you remember all those physical concepts it's good it is. they are also trying to minimize their surface energy that's why they are taking the form of spherical particles raindrops i was referring talking to rain, um, rain i was referring to raindrops so leave that aside coming back to here so you add more carbon your hardness increases for all these microstructures and the reason is the formation of cementite now coming to ductility spheroidite is the most ductile one because it is having least resistance to plastic deformation because of its microstructure then comes coarse perlite then comes fine perlite one more thing of all the steel alloys that <clears throat> we have seen spheroidite will give you the most soft and the most softest and it is the most weakest microstructure moreover it is very ductile and its toughness is also quite high because what happens is that um let me go to that figure uh, i will see whether i can go back to the microstructure yeah here is a microstructure once again so in this microstructure see since uh, let's say assume there is a crack here there is one crack here then the crack will only encounter a very small fro fraction of brittle cementite in a in a ductile alpha matrix but 
when it comes to perlite fine perlite or coarse perlite it will encounter a large number of cementate lamella but in this case a particular crack will only encounter a very small fraction of the brittle or will uh, cementate particles okay so that's why it is not that's a reason why it is notably tough thanks a lot in the next video we will look into other microstructures like bainite and martensite